What is up guys, it's Raul TV, back again with another video. This time round, what we're doing is, I've got a 2017, 18 kind of thing. I think it's a 19, so I think it's one of the later ones. A Toyota Avensis, and we're gonna go ahead and replace the rear brake pads and discs, rotors that is, brake pads and discs, okay? Electronic handbrake on this one, not the normal handbrake, electronic handbrake, so uh, let's go, let's do it. Right, the first thing we're gonna do is open the bonnet, go here, take that brake fluid reservoir cap off. I mean, for the rear brake pads, you don't really need to do this, but it's a, it's a good practice anyway, do that. Take that off, that way there's no pressure when we're pushing the pistons back. Right, next thing for us is we're gonna jack this car up. I'm gonna do it on the floor because it's got a side skirt on it and it, it's, it's a trouble getting it on the ramp, so. I'm gonna do it on the floor, one side at a time. Jack one side up, put some axle stands on it, put a block on the front, and uh, basically take the wheel off. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. Okay guys, the thing is, um, I tried doing it with the software, the WoW software, I've, I've even had a snap-on software on it, I've even had, a, uh, uh, what is it, this other one, this uh, VAG software kind of thing. I've had three softwares on it and I haven't got the right software to disengage the handbrake. So, we're going to do the old school way, the old fashioned way. I've, basically, handbrake is off now, totally off. Okay, ignition is on, I've got a battery charger on the battery just in case. Okay, you don't need it, but you know, just in case. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and take the brake pads off, brake disc off, and uh, replace the brake pads. Right, so the ignition is on, the handbrake is off. As you can see that I can just about move it. Uh, as you can see, the rotor is absolutely dead. So we're gonna change the brake pads and rotor. First things first, we need to take this bolt off, 13 milli. One on the bottom, this one as well. We need to take that one off. Let's take them two off. Hopefully caliper comes out of the way and we'll go from there. Okay, I've took them two 13 millis off. Right, all we do now is dead simple, like any other brake caliper, we just fire that off. Not rocket science. Just get a screwdriver and just fire it off. There we go. Once it goes, it will go. That's it, you get both hands on it, a bit more control. So that's out of the way, okay? I'm gonna take the brake pads off. All we do is flick the brake pads off. Same on the other side. Just take that one off. And we're gonna go ahead and take this bracket off now. Right, the brake pads are off. What we're gonna do now is, I'm doing this on the floor, that's why it's a little bit hard to show you guys, but. If you can see it there, this bracket here, okay, the caliper bracket, we're gonna take that bolt off. I think it's a 17 milli socket, get a strong gun and a socket on it. One directly beneath that, which is there. Take them two off. Hopefully this bracket should come off. Disc should come straight off and we can replace it with a new one. Okay, that bracket is off. All we do now is give that a little hit. I mean, you can even hit it on the rotor if you want because uh, we're gonna change it, replace it anyway, so. Give that a little hit. That comes straight off. All the dust in the world, that's it. We're gonna start sneezing in a minute. Um, so yeah, there we go. That's off. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna push the piston caliper back, the caliper that is. Push that back, as you can see that's come out quite a bit. So we're gonna get some oil in there, some maintenance spray or WD-40, whatever you've got. Put some in there, wind back tool, and let's wind that in. Right, I've got the wind back tool on. Back up, uh, as you can see there guys, I hope you can see it. I've got the wind back tool on. But I'm gonna try demonstrating while I do it as well because uh, I've got a few comments saying that show us how to do it, so don't explain it basically so basically there it is it's on there wind back tool is on there you can get one of these tools from eBay brake wind back tool handbrake one wind back tool 
you get the spanner on it, I've modified that looks slightly, and just turn it clockwise on this side. I think it might be anti-clockwise on the other side, or counterclockwise. So I'm in the UK and the driver's side is the is clockwise basically. Okay, going in nice and easy. So we're gonna push that in all the way and then we'll go for the T there, close up. The piston has gone in, the caliper piston has gone straight in with the wind back tool. If it doesn't go straight back in, make sure it's nice and free when you are putting it back in. You don't want it to be sticking. Another thing is, uh, see these cutouts here? Okay, I'll explain to you guys what you have to do there before I get uh, compla uh, you know, complaints on YouTube saying that you didn't mention it, you didn't show us how to do it. A uh, bit of common sense here. You're on the brake pad, I'll show you guys. You'll have a little dot, a little uh, cutout. Um, they, these will have to line up with the cutout or else one thing is if, the, if these little cutouts don't line up the, this one here and this one you're gonna have uneven brakes that's one thing another thing is you're not gonna uh, it's not gonna seat properly it's gonna be hard for you to fit the brake pad um, so the protrusion right so uh, so make sure these line up with the cutout on the brake pad the little dot on the brake pad the locator on the brake pad I'll show you guys when I get there so Right, next thing for us now is guys we're gonna put the rotor on the disc on that is if you're in America the rotor right <laughs> messing. right so uh, let's put that on and uh, we'll go from there right make sure I've already done the inside so make sure brake cleaner give that a clean out because they've got like a protective oil kind of thing on it on the disc, on the rotor. So make sure you give that a clean out. Give it a white tissue. The tissue will be better. So give that a clean out. Let's fit the bracket back on. Everything in reverse order. Let's do it guys, let's go. Right, the disc is back on, the bracket is back on. These, make sure these sliders are nice and free. As you can see, these are nice and free on mine as well. Okay, we're gonna put the brake pad back on now. Adjust the brake and hopefully job done. The other side, my brother's doing the other side, so uh, that saves me a lot of hassle. Uh, so yeah, but remember this, I'm in the UK and the driver side caliper is a normal uh, anti-clockwise, clockwise caliper, okay? To uh, go in, you need to go clockwise. To cut and bring it out anti-clockwise on the passenger side in the UK it's a left-hand thread okay so uh, yeah it's anti-clockwise to go in right that pad is on the outer pad is on the outer pad can go on no problems no issues with the outer pad the inner pad see this dot here this protrusion here okay I'm just gonna make it clear to you maybe I didn't explain it on my other videos properly on the normal events right the one without the electronic cam brake but uh, they're pretty much all the same this one here this protrusion here make sure it lines up with one of the cutouts this one or this cutout okay so when, when we adjust it readjust it we're gonna bring the caliper out a little bit okay when we adjust it make sure it's lining up with that cutout okay let's do it all right guys as you can see there brake pads are on brake disc is on the rotors on everything's on and there's the caliper it is absolutely horizontal kind of thing right so that is going to line up with the cutout with the little dot on the back of the pad remember okay so that's what we want so as you can see i'm going to put that on like that that is absolutely a, a, like a horizontal kind of thing okay so we're going to go right like that we're going to go straight on like that and basically, I need two hands. When you get the caliper on, happy days. That should be, that should be done. Right. So there we have it. I put a banged a bit of copper grease on there. That's on there. I'm gonna put the wheel back on. Uh, pump the brakes up. Handbrake on. Should be okay. So before anybody slags me off, uh, the protrusion, the protrusion, that little put out, the little dot. Make sure it's lined up with the caliper. Okay. The cut out on the caliper. Just making that clear. Right, that's it guys, that's the events is done. As you can see there behind me, he's just driving off now. There we go, all done and dusted. Right, um, make sure you pump the brakes up before you take it for a test drive. Make sure you put the handbrake on, check it, it should be okay. And yeah, that's, like I said, 
I didn't have the software, but you can do it without the software. You're not supposed to, but you can. Anyway, guys, Raul TV hooking you guys up. All I'm going to say is like, share, subscribe to my channel. Hit the bell button for me. Leave a comment in the comment section, Raul TV. We'll see you guys soon.